Hey, hey, come on in. Grab your beer, grab your vape. Let's hang out. Welcome to the Man Cave. I'm Chris. I'm Mike. I'm Corey. Come on in. Alright, so, for all you scum dogs out there, the first flavor we've got is the Guar Fluid by Mount Baker Vapor, the Uncolored Spew. It's supposed to be a bit of a fruity melon flavor. We also got the Blood Bath, that's also by the Guar Fluids, and it's supposed to have like a tropical flavor. We have the Cinnamon Toast Munch. It's a cereal flavor, it's like a cinnamon cereal. Uh, it's also made by uh, Mount Baker Vapor. Okay, so I'm going to be trying the uncolored spew. Again, it is supposed to be a fruity melon. It definitely has the melon. It kind of tastes like a honeydew more than anything, but it's not just honeydew. It's got a bit of a throw hit to it. It's still pretty good. Um, something to keep in mind though is with this fluid, it is uncolored for what we actually ordered. You can get it colored, it does come in green. All right, today we're doing uh, spew by it's a guar fluid out of uh, Mount Baker Vapor. Uh, it's got a good melon hit to it. Uh, been vaping a little bit since we've tried. We've got it out. Uh, it, it's got uh, some kind of fruity hints in the background, so it's not straight melon for me. It's got uh, I don't know. It, it's almost like a, a lemon or a, a berry of some kind in the background. Uh, the back notes uh, you get your inhale and your outhale kind of flavors uh, when you take your first drag it is straight melon um, but as you exhale you start getting the other hints of other fruits uh, it's it's actually a pretty tasty vape uh, something you should try if you're around Mount Baker vapor stop in check them out if you don't if you're not around them go online I'm sure they got a website we can throw a link in the description below uh, and uh, give you an option to go and buy some of their products so my initial thought is it's got quite a bit of a, a throat hit for me I like things a little more smoother but the taste is great the exhale is absolutely amazing it's got a really strong melon flavor and it stays there it doesn't fade like some other vapes do and I, I kind of like uh, the other fruity notes almost like a really rich sweetness when you exhale. As you can tell, all three of us actually really like this flavor. Uh, the melon itself is right there. It's in your face. It's really good. It's a strong, distinct flavor. I like it. Uh, it's it, The melon for me is, is a good melon. It's not, I've had some melon flavors that are off just don't quite have it it's they got like a sour yeah they don't they melon. don't it, it honestly uh, depends on what kind of melon they're replicating because you, you, you've got the honeydew melon oh, yeah. which is a really really rich sweet melon but you got like a watermelon which is you know kind of fades Candy. in the background with its mix yeah, of other things. So it should be a lighter flavor uh i'm not a super big fan of the melons that taste like fake melon. um like your, your processed food. Yeah, yeah. I'm, not, I'm not a giant, giant, giant fan of that unless it's banana, and then I'm good to go. But um, the the melon on this actually tastes like you're biting into a honeydew. Yeah, I'm giving this one a five. Yeah, definitely five out of five. See, I'm gonna go four out of five. This isn't. This is not usually my jam. I am a bakery guy. Uh, I do like the fruit flavors here and there, uh, and that's why I'm giving it a 4 out of 5. It's not, like I said, it's not my jam. The flavor we're trying now 
is the Guar Fluid Bloodbath by Mount Baker Vapor. Um, yet again, uncolored. If you actually order it, you can still get it colored, just like the spew. Only Bloodbath, it's going to come in a dark blue red. If anything out of that, I tend to get more of a pineapple flavor myself. Guar flavor's got you covered, man. Uh, this stuff tastes like Smarties to me. It is amazing. Throw a handful of Smarties in your mouth, you've got it covered. That's what this tastes like. It's freaking awesome. So the taste I get from this is, is like that tropical flavor. I'm getting hints of cherry in it, which even if it doesn't have cherry in it, that makes me excited because I love cherry flavors. Uh, it's very fruity. It's a great flavor exhale and inhale. I know, it wasn't terrible for me. To me though, it, it more or less tastes like pineapple. You know what I'm saying? Smarties. Yeah, I quite enjoyed it actually. Oh, like I got great. that hint of cherry and the berry and the, and like you said, pineapple. It was really good. Yeah, yeah, I, I can date that all day. I don't... I'd give it a four out of five. Yeah. Just because of the fact that, I mean, for me more or less I taste pineapple, but at the same time, I can definitely taste the berries behind it. I'm giving it a solid 4 out of 5 as well. Um, I really enjoy it. I do. Um, I feel like... I don't know, the, the flavor is so right, right up front, you know? And it's absolutely popping in your mouth when you, when you vape it. And the exhale is just as good as the inhale. And, and like he said, there's this like pineapple taste to it. And I really enjoy like the other little profiles in there like the the berries and the the fruit and yeah it, and it's, it's really tasty I, I i would definitely definitely recommend this juice you know, i'm giving it a five out of five definitely a nostalgia you know that smarties when you're a kid i'm not a kid guy i'm not a candy guy now i don't eat a whole lot of candy uh, that's why i like vaping and that's why i like the opportunity to have all the different flavors to the vape so the flavor we've got here is mount baker vapors Cinnamon Toast Munch. Personally, myself, I'm not much of a cereal fan. Kind of tastes like buttered toast that somebody poured too much cinnamon on. So I actually really like this flavor. Uh, I am a fan of cereal flavors. Um, typically, the Cinnamon Toast variations that I've tried, um, they tend to be really dry afterwards. And, um, and then some of them tend to be overly creamy. This has kind of got the drier, but it's done well. And, and I kind of get hints of like a graham crackeriness to it that I really enjoy in my vapes. One thing I got to say though, is I'm not a fan of the tip of the bottle. It's really blunt. And I feel like it, it makes a mess when you're trying to juice the coils. Val Baker Vapor, you're doing a good job, man. Uh, I'm, I'm glad to see a steep bottle of juice come to me. Uh, you get those shake and bake, let's mix it up real quick. Uh, and sometimes you don't get a good flavor profile out of them because they're not quite steep, they're not ready to go. Uh, it's cool to see a vape shop letting their stuff steep. Uh, the flavor is good. I prefer cereal flavors. I like cinnamon flavors. I like cinnamon toast flavors. Uh, I can see where Mike's getting kind of a little bit hint of funny there, but I. I I don't think it's so much of a pungent flavor that people won't like it. Uh, I like it. Uh, I could vape probably the whole bottle, no problem, in a day or two, and, and be happy doing it. So out of the three flavors we tried today, uh, I, I was most surprised by this, the Cinnatose Munch. It was absolutely spot on. Yeah, it's good cinnamon flavor. Uh, like, like I was saying before, the steep thing is awesome. You, it's not every day you get a good steep juice. Most of the time when you go to a vape shop, you end up getting a juice that just got thrown together in the back room or in the lab, whatever you want to call it. Um, anyway, so you get a juice that's just thrown together, it's thrown in a bottle, handed to you. It's It's been in that mixture for maybe five minutes. Uh, and then you go out in your car, you throw it in your vape, and you take a vape and you're getting what you get. You're not getting a good steep flavor that's had time to process, it's had time to, to mix and, and develop the flavors that are actually in it. Um, that's what that's what I look for in a vape and it's awesome to see that Mount Baker Vapor is doing that with their juices. They're allowing them to steep before they send them out to the customer, before they make 
the customer to try things or, or even give them a chance to see their product, they're allowing that process to happen. And it's amazing to see. It's cool. Yeah, well, I got to admit, I, I agree with you. The, the cinnamon itself is really good. So this juice, I'm giving it a solid 4 out of 5. I feel like it should have a little creaminess to it, but what they've done with it is actually really, really good. Yeah, I'd, I'd probably give it a, a four or five myself. See, I don't know because even with that, the, the aftertaste to me, I'd, I'd honestly have to give it a two out of five. And as always, hit that like button, slap that subscribe. And if you like our videos, find us on Facebook at Vaping in the Man Cave. Y'all have a good day. Come on back next week. Bye -bye.